JB99RX is a complete and ready for play karaoke jukebox. It has a touchscreen, mixer, amplifier, speakers, microphones, bill acceptor, network router, and many more. This video shows the general usage of the system for users, i.e. customers. The main screen located on the top of the jukebox is a touchscreen that lets users search and select songs using their fingertips. It also lets users adjust the music volume, microphone volume, pitch control, tempo control, echo, reverb, and etc. The main screen is adjustable in height sliding up and down. It also rotates and tilts backward and forward for better viewing. The bill acceptor is located on the upper right corner of the jukebox. It takes one, five, ten, twenty, or one hundred dollar bills. The credit required, thus the price of the karaoke singing, which is set by the operator, is displayed on the main screen. On the right side of the jukebox, there are two wireless microphones. Each microphone has a power switch on its handle. Also on this side, you will find laminated quick start user guide both in English and Spanish. Let's now walk up to the jukebox. We are seeing the 3D customer interface. We demonstrate to you using a mouse, but you as a customer will be using your fingertip. First, price of the singing is $1, so insert a $1 bill into the bill acceptor. That changes the available credit from 0 to 1. Next, we select the song by title. Press the title button and you can scroll through the list by dragging the sidebar. Or you can search for a song by pressing the search box, which brings up the on-screen keyboard. Type in any part of the title, such as today. For the songs matching the word today in the title, you can again use the sidebar to scroll through. Press on a song to select. You will see a pop-up display where you can input the customer name, preset the pitch, and preset the tempo. You can also go directly to press the reserve button. The screen will next change to Q to show the reserved songs. Press the play button at the bottom to start the song. Grab the microphone, turn it on, and start singing. 10 seconds into the song, the credit will be charged. If you wish to adjust the volume level, press the mixer button. You can change the volume levels of music, microphones, echo, reverb, etc. When done, press the home button to go back to the lyric screen. Next, we select the song using artist name. Again, put in a dollar and press the artist button. You can scroll down the list or press the search field for on-screen keyboard. Type in the artist name, like Elvis. You will find an artist with the word Elvis in the name. The number to the left in parentheses shows how many songs are under the artist. Press on the artist and all those songs will appear. Again, press to select a song. You're given the options to put in the singer's name, preset the pitch and tempo. Press the reserve button. Next, press the play button to begin playing. 10 seconds into the song, the credit is charged. If you wish to change the pitch or tempo of the song while playing, press the control button. You can adjust the pitch and tempo real time. Press OK to return. If you wish to stop the song at any time, press the Q button and press the stop button at the bottom. 
you will have also the options to press the pause or restart. Next, we show how to reserve multiple songs. Shuffle the queue and operate the next button. Say you, as a group of five, decide to insert a $5 bill. You reserve the songs using the title or artist. Since you are reserving multiple songs before playing, it would be wise to put in the singer's name, such as Tony, Emily, Dick, Mary, etc. We reserve the second song and we fast forward to having five songs. But Tony, who is reserved at the top as the first, does not wish to go first. Click on the song number on the left of the song. A pop-up screen will appear. Press the bottom button and the song will be pushed to the bottom of the queue. Say then Dick wants to go first. Again, press the song number on the left and select the top button. The Dick song will be pushed to the top. You can also change the order by increment of one step. Press the song number and select up or down button. When done changing the orders, press the play button to begin playing from the top song. Again, into the 10 seconds, the credit will be charged. If Dick, singing the first song, gives up, Emily, the next in the queue, can go to the queue screen and press the next button. The next song in the queue will begin. Note that Emily could press the stop button instead. The difference is that if we press the stop button, it will stop the song currently playing, but it will not automatically start the next song. The next song will wait for the play or next button to begin playing. Now we demonstrate this pressing the stop button. The current song has stopped, but the next song is waiting. We press the next button to begin. This completes our video instruction on the general usage of the JB99RX Karaoke Jukebox.